What we have here is a simple, inexpensive to build tone board you can add to any radio. This is based on the 328PU microcontroller, a 16 megahertz crystal, two 22 picofarad capacitors, and that's pretty much the, the whole tone board, uh, and a 10 uh, kilo ohm uh, potentiometer there to control the level on the output. This thing over here is just a 5 volt power supply. You may have 5 volts available in your radio already, or uh, another way to get the 5 volts. Otherwise, this is less than $3 worth of parts. The programming on here, which I'll put on my GitHub later on today, um, is based on uh, somebody else's work to synthesize sine waves um, based on PWM and uh, some sort of interrupt-driven routine. It uh, makes a pretty pure sine wave. Um, I just got in there and hard-coded it to generate a 107.2 hertz tone, which is what our repeaters here in South Texas are coordinated on. You could get more creative, set a dip switch in here and program uh, uh, all the tones in there to uh, respond to dip switch settings. Um, nothing to do that right now. That wouldn't take a whole lot. Connection to the radio is just through my signal link, which puts it in parallel with the microphone. Uh, as you see here, this is the tone control. Tone on, tone off. Um, I'll turn my tone board off and just give this a test. You can see that it does not work. AG5 BK radio test. Definitely did not key the repeater. I'll go ahead and plug my tone board in. <clears throat> Try this again. AG5 BK radio test. And that worked. Okay. A simple tone board can be added to any radio for under five bucks.